Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine, Colleen. Thanks. Oh, great. Let's try this again. How are you? I've been pretty good. I've been having quite a turbulent couple of weeks, but I was looking forward to this day. I've, I've been looking forward to this day for quite a while. How about you? Yeah, good. I, I've been great too. Thanks. And yes, I've been definitely looking forward to this. So I'm so glad we figured out this. I'm so sorry about all the technical stuff. Ugh. It's all right. I guess today, when, I guess this, um, these difficulties went to show that technology is both a blessing and a curse. Absolutely. For sure. So where are you, Wesley? I'm calling from Connecticut, the Northeastern Connecticut. Um, I remember last Octo October or November that I met you, Roger, and Mike in the same video chat, and this, these difficulties also occurred. I know. I don't know what it is. You know, there's always something, but, but I'm glad we figured it out. So Glad I could wait. <laughs> Me too. I'm so sorry you had to wait, but I'm glad I'm talking now. So, my so, sister lives in Connecticut. Does she like it there? She does. She likes it a lot. Um, what I like about my side of Connecticut is the map is the mountainsides and the and how nice it is in the autumn. That's my favorite time of year. And in California, we don't get the same kind of the leaves changing and the crisp, you know, ooh, it's sweatshirt weather, you know. Yeah, someone I hold dear, someone that I hold dear to me lives in LA, and so I oftentimes wonder, how does he put up with this heat? Yeah, it gets hot. It does. But it's this week has been great. So hopefully it stays because it's been very, like last night, I was cold. I needed a sweater outside. It was great. That's good to know. That's good to know. Sometimes I forget that California can get, can be freezing too. I wouldn't say freezing, but colder is good. Right. <laughs> colder. So, yeah. So as we were saying before we got cut off, before we, I was redirected to the waiting room, uh, you noticed my plush. My yeah. sales plush is basically my stress doll for the oh. for this event. I love it. Yeah, my, yeah. Little guy, my little guy sits here on my, on my <laughs> table that I have my computer on. And I found two more that I had. I didn't even remember that I had them. They gave them to me at one of the, I think at the 25th anniversary thing. And wow. I, found, I was looking for something in my closet and I had to pull all of my equipment out. And, and I was like, oh, I have two plushies that I didn't even know. He, he, I have the one with the, he's got a really big head. <laughs> I grab it, but it's like, it's under the thing in the back. And the <laughs> oh, gosh. I can get to. <laughs> And did you have any questions for me or? Um, e yes, I've met Brady Isle Griffin twice this past year and I wanted to know what it's like working with her. Um, with who? Brady Isle Griffin, you know, um, Sam Manson from Danny Phantom. Oh yes, it's wonderful to work with her. She's fantastic. She's so much fun. She's funny. She's so talented. Um, Danny Phantom was, was a blast. And she was also on another show that I worked on, uh, The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. Um, and we've worked on a couple other things here and there over the years, but she's wonderful. She's really, really a great person. It, yeah, she can be sarcastic as she needs to be. Yes, yes. And so can I. So we all have a, we always have such a great time in the booth. It's very fun. Indeed. Yeah. So um, what part of California are you located in? Are you located in? Um, you obviously don't tell me your exact address. I can give you my address now. <laughs> but I'm in Burbank. So pretty, pretty much in the middle. Do you like it there? I do. It's, and it's easy to get to all the studios and I have a really nice quiet neighborhood and I like it. So basically it's Burbank is a decent place to commute. It is definitely easy to get to places. I'd love to live in a city like that eventually. <laughs> yep. It's nice. Could you do a sample? Could you do a sample? Uh, provide a, a sample of of uh, this little guy's voice. Absolutely. Uh, hey, Wesley. I was great talking to you today, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. You as well, Tails. And thank you, Colleen, for having me. Thank you so much, and thank you for your patience. It was great. 
No problem. Patience is a virtue after all. And I'm glad I, like I said, I'm glad that the wait was worth it, worthwhile. Uh, well, thank you. And you have a wonderful day. And I hope next week is better for you. Thank, uh, thank you. I'm sure that it will be. Good. Okay. Bye. Bye.